You got this memo? Dude, we got it. You just waking up, bud. You up early. You'll take an early nap. How fuzzy head is this, Manor? How is this, Manor? Are we ready? We are ready. We gotta sneak out, so. I have something to say. The grouchiest human on earth. Grouchy. Early, I am, okay? Wash every pair of shorts and pants that the man owns besides his overhauls. No. All my favorite stuff is in the bottom of a clothes basket. Now listen. Favorite stuff. Now listen. All my time is in the bottom of the clothes basket. Stop. Offered him up five different t shirts. That one's too long. That one's too short. I don't like that color. Homie, okay, for one, I didn't want you a shirt bought to my knees. I didn't know. I figured, okay, this is tall. The shirt straight. he's got on, he says, hangs to his knees. It looks pretty right to yeah, me. I thought it was the white one. The white one hangs to my knees, and it's got a big orange stain on it from Colton's Cheetos. The other shirt you get, gave me shows the crack of my rear just walking <laughs> around. Every shirt you own does that. No, my tie-dye and my favorite ones <laughs> are in the bottom of the clothes basket. Bottom. Do you need me to wipe your tail too? No, I need you to wash my clothes. I did wash clothes. It just wasn't the specific clothes that he was in one of them moods. Nothing worked. Hair clip. I don't know where your hair clip is. Together here. Yeah, it's taking her forever too. Let me tell you. Sean, you're just eating. We have relaxed. made it, y'all. All right, you got yourself together. I'm ready. I'm together. Are you sure? Quit bugging me. I do got to stretch this out. So, so the bathroom again? One more time. This is One what? More. The fourth time since Fifth. we left the house. Fifth. You guys, I had coffee and I had Elite and a Gatorade. And I had to stop. There it is, though, honey. That's it? That's part of it. Where's the hex? Right there. Looks right like. here is where you get on, I'd say. Somewhere through here. Oh, yeah. Sure? Lightning rod. Is that what we're riding? Yes, you go probably right through here. My nerves are starting to kick in a little bit. Why? Because I ain't been on a roller coaster in quite a while. There we go. You ready for it? I'm ready. Yeah, right. Ish. As ready as I'll I can ever. already see the chicken in your eyes, even through the glasses. I am a little nervous. I ain't gonna lie. You guys, that lightning rod, that was amazing. It felt like you was going to fall straight off the face of the earth when you come up and you went down, I'm telling you. It was awesome. Look at this table. How nice. I love that table. Mm -hmm. Did you see it? You are a pumpkin. I am. Thank you for noticing. I ain't packing that all the way around Dollywood. We can come back later. Oh, we have to come back by here. Now, Sean. I knew it. We can get down with some chicken canisters. Look at the pig bowl. Check it out. That's so cute. You're silly. Oh, I'm getting ready for the fall festival here. The third is, honey. What? The OG ride, the old one of the oldest rides at the park. Blazing Fury. The Blazing Fury. It better be as good as the Lightning Rod. Or my, I, my thrill level started out here. We got to keep it there. Well, I can't say it's probably as good as the Lightning Rod because it's not. Already. It's a one of a kind. It's a very unique ride. I mean, why do you think it's been here since it was Silver Dollar City? Well, I don't know. We'll find out. Trying to get all their pumpkin stuff hung up. A wall of pumpkins right over there. Guessing that's spooky ghost and at the base of the Tennessee tornado, possibly. My hair went and it's like it's stiff. Get all the spider pumpkins out. We might have to bring the kiddos back in October. I definitely think they'd get a kick out of it all. So at the moment, we're just trying to get through a few rides before we eat some grub. Yeah, y'all, the food and the smell is yeah. like, it pulls you in. Y'all, the Tennessee tornado, I just laughed until I about cried. As soon as we went down the first drop, little mama started slapping Listen, me, freaking out. It, I was thinking, ah, that, look, what is that? That's the eagle. That's the, yeah. Oh my gosh, we're the rest of the track. Oh, 
Oh, I see. You were hanging over it. Looked it looked like the track broke off. No, you're but hanging over But there's the this track. one spot on that. It looks like you're going into nothing. Again, it's amazing though, but it freaked me out. That one did. You could pass up a picture of the eagle. You had to get the eagle, didn't you? I want to get the big pumpkins too. Right there's the big pumpkins. We're walking right past them. I think we come right at the beginning of the fall. Because I noticed deeper back in the park, more is starting to pop up. I love it. Back in the middle of the morning. Skillet like this for the house. Uh, we could, but I don't know where in the world we would put it. <laughs> That's what you call a skillet, y'all. Listen, you ever come to Dollywood, make sure you stop by here, get you one of these sandwiches. They're delicious. Good. We'll see My fish and chips I wanted would have been better. Well, you should have got fish and chips. You did I didn't got know it. there was two separate lines. Colton would have a field day right here. Yes, he would. He would be beating and banging everything. <laughs> One thing for sure, y'all gonna have all kinds of pictures on Facebook. She has took a million and one pictures. Look at that. I know. I'd almost like to bring the kids back in October just yeah. to walk Both around. Yeah, for all the lights come one night. Don't tell me you're showing your age. <laughs> Y'all, I am You've cracking. And grown. I'm sitting here, I'm cracking and popping every way I turn. Look at my hands, how swollen. I'm almost 40. It's, it's starting to set in. I'm getting a little over the, the hump. I'm getting there. And I'm over 40 and I'm having no harder time at all. Have you been pregnant three or twice in the last three years? No, but I've took care of three of you. That's what I thought. I think I've got to try that one right there. Look at those, you guys. Yum. The ladybugs. Should we get one and try it, you guys? I think we will. Ow, giant gummy pickles. Does it taste like a pickle? Yes. Oh, pears. Oh, man, look at all the pears. I haven't either. Can we talk about the fact that the gift shops are so cheap here. You guys, the gift shops here are cheap. I'm like blown away. I mean, I'm so I'm happy about it, but like I was not expecting like very reasonable prices. That's good. So I just unlocked the core memory. Stand up, stand right there and talk. That I just unlocked the core memory of when I was little bitty when this place was Silver Dollar City. That used to actually be a magic shop right there. And I remember getting the stuff that you put on your finger and you make it look like smoke. But then riding the train when they used to do the gunfights and everything, like the old west gunfights on the train, it just hit me and I'm like, whoa, it was kind of cool. Like when you smell certain smells and it takes you back to your childhood. He just had one of those. <laughs> Must you. Must you, Sean. <laughs> Yeah, he just done that. He blasted all those people. <laughs> hey. They give you a thumbs up? <laughs> yeah, they gave me a thumbs up. I'm going to get somebody again and watch. As they come through, I'm going to get them again. Get them watch home. him. He's got double quarters in there? Double quarters. Ah, oh, ruthless. Y'all, I do believe we are winding down and starting to work our way out of here. My legs are about walked off. They feel like jello. Party's over. <laughs> Well, somehow we ended up down here. It's Rod Run. And there is vehicles lined up for days with their hoods up. 
we are working our way to uh, Tanger Outlets. We're going to try to see if we can find the kids a few winter outfits to get them jump started and going. We live in a very small town. Ain't nothing but Walmart and they pretty much got the three outfits that our Walmart has. So oh, we're look at the truck. We have the cars. So we're gonna head to try to find them some stuff, but first we can ride a go kart. No. <laughs> well, why would I want to ride a go kart? I don't know, so I could beat you. Oh, a go kart. I heard golf cart. No, go. I was like, why would I want to ride a golf no, cart? No, a go kart. I think it come. Fire. Oh, this is why. What? Sit still already. Ah, that's better. Oh, that's much better. Oh yeah, no rolling shutter. That works perfect. Oh what? my goodness, I can get the whole kitchen in here. Really? The wide lens? Yeah, the wide lens. As you see, some folks said it was the ceiling fan that was causing that flashing over there, and it just wasn't. It was the shutter on that Sony camera. So if you're looking at doing some inside shots, I don't know what it is about this light bulb, but if you get the Sony ZE-110, that's what you're gonna have to deal with. I don't know why it done it. We've had this Dollywood footage filmed for over a week. We come back from Dollywood that night. We exhausted. was exhausted to say the least. Saturday, I think I moved just enough to let little mama know I was alive. Yeah, that was... Then Sunday, where we hadn't been around, you know, the kids. Saturday didn't do a whole lot, but just like breathe. Sunday, we spent time with the kids, went and jumped on the trampoline. What else did we do Sunday? Went to Super Walmart. Nice. Oh yeah, that was a mistake. We went to Super Walmart. It was so crowded. Oh, I was just ready to get out of there. All week I've been working on the website, putting up new shirts. We've been getting some hoodies geared together, some long sleeves. Just been a lot of work. And I've, all week I'm like, where do I even go from here? Where, how do we even get this video going again? Because it's been so long. We walked at Dollywood for like 10 hours and climbed to the top of these roller coaster rides. It didn't hit us till we got in the car heading home and we were like... <laughs> Jello. Just some good bite bites. Sissy, you scratched your nose good, baby girl. Mama. Mommy got cut them claws. What happened to your nose? You scratch it. <laughs> so I don't know what it was. We've always ate those Pillsbury biscuits. Y'all, we got some this time, and I had to go brush my teeth. I had so much, like a layer of grease in my mouth. It was starting to make me sick. Hi. Can I ask why a chair's in the living room? Yay. Yay. Yay what? Some folk may wonder why I put this thing in the tri with the tripod in here. One of the huge comments we get is what kind of equipment do we use to film with? Because we have a lot of people that have their own channels and they're curious. So I put that we got the new Joby tripod. Like I said, the other one we had three or four years. It had held up good until recently. Like. For some reason, the legs wasn't the same size, the ball was wearing out, but we had it for a while and it lasted a long time. I'm gonna tell you the way it goes with camera equipment. You buy cheap, you're gonna buy multiple times. Since we've started, we've got like 30 of those Walmart tripods that literally last like a month and then they fall apart. They're junk. You buy these $20, $25 tripods and they just fall apart within a month or so and you gotta go buy another one and another one and another one. But you can buy one of these Joby ones and guys, you'll have it for years to come. That's why we got the Joby is just, I won't have to buy another one for several years. Are you having fun? 
So if you have a channel, just keep that in mind. You buy cheap, you're gonna be buying multiple times. Or you just save, get something good, it's gonna last you for so much longer. Maybe if some of you guys that have a channel want us to sit down and do a video about some of the equipment we use, why we use it, why we like it, just leave a comment below and we'll get on top of that because I know there's a lot of you aspiring to do the channel, to, to grow your presence. And if you wanna know, what we use, just leave a comment and we'll get on top of it. But speaking of getting on top of it, I got a lot of work to do today. I've got to get down. I got two boxes of shirts. I got to get down to Lori to print up. What are you destroying? Are you having a hard time, girl? Put your go. Chloe. Oh, you gonna let Big Bubba do it? You gonna take the one that's already turned up right? But I must get to work. Like I said, I didn't even know where to start on this video because it's been a week since we went to Dollywood. So it was just kind of here or there and I, I'm just lost. So we're just gonna end it right here and start from scratch with a new video. But guys, and until the next time. Stay positive, y'all. Stay country. And stay true to your roots.